Today I'm going to learn how to make locks. I'm at my friends Merle and Tom's and we're going to actually make locks. I've got a pound of coho, some brown sugar, uh, black pepper, kosher salt, a corningware container, and somewhere there's a plastic bag that I guess it will all go into eventually. Okay, here goes. So we just washed the salmon a put, little bit. Put, put it on the board. Put it on the board over here. And Tom's over here telling me what to do. Now what do I do? Cut it in half. This way or that way? This way. Right about, about over there. Okay. Right like that? Straight? Um, On the bias? Like this. Okay. Okay. Cut, cut all the way through the, all the skin? All the way through the skin. Until you separate it. Ah. There we go. Okay. Two pieces. Now. And you got the fish in the picture? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Most of you and the fish. Okay. I take the cut. Well, now you got that paper. You got to put it on a paper. Put it on paper. You got my paper, right? Can you see me too, Merle? Yeah. Okay. Again. You got to open the paper up. <laughs> open the paper up. Okay. Put, the paper, yeah, put it on a paper. Put the paper on a board. Let it, you put it on a board like that. Like that. Okay. Put, put half of it on the center. Half of it on the center. Like that. Yeah, a little bit. It's in the middle. Okay. Good. Like that. Yeah. Now what? You, put, you know, just pour the salt on this piece here. Just. Sprinkle cover, it? Cover it with salt. A lot of salt. Not low sodium. A lot, a lot. More. A lot. Keep going. More salt. More salt. You gotta cure it. Okay, that's good. Okay, now, now what? Put, put some pepper on. Pepper? Uh, no, I'll tell you <laughs> what. Why don't you put the uh, brown sugar on first with your hands? Just dig it in your hand. Like that? And just, yeah, just put sprinkle it? it? Yeah, sprinkle it on. Okay. Got like more, this. more, more. More? Brown sugar. I didn't know you would use brown sugar for lots. You, you stick your hands in there and take it out. Well, You're going to be using it all, so you may as well stick your really? hands in there. Really? Yeah. So there's about, gosh, this is probably about a cup of brown sugar. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's about a cup. And like that? And then. Yeah, okay, that's it. Okay. That's it. Now some black powder. Put the, put the black pepper on now. Okay. Sprinkle black pepper on. Does it matter if I leave corners undone? No, it's okay. Don't okay. worry about it. Black pepper. Just cover it there. Black pepper. Okay. Like that? Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot of pepper. A lot okay. of everything. Okay. More, 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 more. More pepper? <laughs> okay. More pepper. Whoa. Okay, then I'll put brown sugar back on. More brown, more, more brown, brown sugar. More brown sugar. A lot, a lot, okay. A lot, a lot. I guess my hands are getting messy. <laughs> a lot. I don't want to, I can't leave That's any. That's okay, it can, it can spill over, it'll spill over. Oh, okay. Nick, a little more? No more. Where'd you get this a recipe from? Yeah, I, I forget, probably from. I think you got it on the internet, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Okay, now salt. Soap? Salt. Oh, so <laughs> they gotta clean it. A lot of salt. More, another. A lot, a lot of salt. Oh my God. More salt, more salt. Okay, that's good. Do you see what this looks like? Look at all this salt <laughs> now, here. Can now, you imagine that? Now put, the, now put the other salmon on top of it. Make it like a salmon. Oh, face no down? More, no more brown yeah. pepper? No. Okay, go ahead. Like that? Like that. Can you see it, Merle? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you want to do it so that... Like a it's sort of salmon fold. sandwich. Yeah. Now fold the paper, cover, get the oh. paper up. Oh, I see. That's why you had to put so much there, so because it's gonna, right? Yeah, you, want, you want to fold the paper up. Okay. Do it this way first, like that. Not like kitty corner. No. Well, any way you want to do it. Okay. As long as, as, long as it all covers it all the way. Okay. Wrapping up the salmon. Wrap it up. And the other way, roll it around like that. Okay. Now you can put it in a plastic bag. That's it. Yeah, so plastic, plastic bag. Plastic bag. It's over on the counter. I got it. Okay, here's a plastic bag, plain old Ziploc bag. Mm -hmm. And this is just the um, the butcher shop or the fish right. paper. Okay, and put it in here. Put it in there. Okay. <clears throat> Putting the fish in the bag. <clears throat> get the air out, right? Yeah, get the air out and you zip it up. up. Zip it up. Okay. I didn't use all the brown sugar. Well, that's okay. You use most of it. Okay. Yeah. And then 
Let's get in here. Okay, then Mr. Fish is going in here. Oh, perfect size. Uh -huh. Okay, see, so fish mm -hmm. is in there. Now we gotta weight it down. Okay. What kind of weight? Do it. Brick? Rock. <laughs> A rock. <laughs> An ordinary garden rock. Put this on top. Of and a piece of this. You've made this, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tom made, is ingenious. Made to fit. There we put go. This, put the rock on top. Yeah, put the rock on top. And you stick it in the refrigerator. It goes in the fridge. Goes the in fridge, the not the freezer. Free refrigerator. Okay. So and we're your... going into the refrigerator. Okay. Rock and all. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> so tomorrow morning you take the package out, you, turn, you take the rock off and the board off, you turn the fish over, put it back in, put the rock back on. And then you do the same thing the next day, and the next day, and the next day. You do that for four days. Then on the fifth day you take it all apart, and then you uh, put take it apart in the sink because it would be messy, and you rinse off the fish, and then you dry it. And then you put it on a board, and you get oil, vegetable oil, and a little brush, and you put vegetable oil on this, you put this uh, white, white vegetable on top of it, you spread it with vegetable oil, and then you start slicing it. And how do you slice it? You slice it on an angle, uh, with the long, like, long part down, and you slice it, thin slices, and you go down to the skin, and you go off the skin, down to the skin, off the skin, down to the skin, off to the skin. And then you may have to turn it around and do the other side until you get all your locks. And I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. Uh, you got wax paper here. These are these extra pieces. <clears throat> you just slice it and you put it on the top of wax paper. And this is, a, I guess, a slice, thin slices. And let's see how it looks down over here. Maybe better. Yeah, I guess it's... Uh, it looks just, wonderful. You just like that. You just slice it like that and slice it and it, it'll freeze on you. So you keep this in the freezer now? Yeah, and you keep and you put it and you keep it in the freezer when you have to finish finish slicing it. And you stick it in the freezer. Fabulous. All set? We're all set. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now Tom said we take it over the sink. Take off the part. Take off the rock. Take off the wood. So I'm taking this out of the bag. Oh, I should have worn it. Just dump it in the sink. This is pretty. Oh, it stinks. Right. And took the sandwich of salmon apart. I put it under the running water. Got all. Got a lot of the. The salt, pepper, and brown sugar off of it. There's still a few specks on here, right? Well, so we're going to leave that. Some more water, right? Okay, just a little bit. Oops. Okay, that's good. Now, make it dry. Pat it on the paper towel. Yeah. Okay. Just, just, yeah, just don't worry about the skin. Don't worry about the skin. Just pat that part. This is pretty solid. It's like not fishy feeling. Okay, then. You put it on the board. Then we're coming over here. You put one on the board. Put one on the board and keep one over here. Yeah, sure. Okay. So then, the next thing we're going to do is... You have to oil it. I have to oil the fish. So, got our little brush and some vegetable oil. Right. Or you can use olive oil. Okay. Like that? Yeah, put That's more it? on. Put, put more on. Sure, a lot of oil. A lot of oil. A lot of oil. More oil. <laughs> <laughs> Just like we did with the salt, right? Okay. More salt. That's good. Okay. You put that aside. Okay. And now we can cut it. Now we're going to cut this. Ah! I have a knife. <laughs> Right. And you said, if I remember, you start at the middle and you go no, like... No, no, you start to, you start to turn around the other way. Turn around this way? More. Yeah, and I cut this way. Oh, okay, so yeah, no, from here starting? Yeah, like that, yeah. Like that's too well cut, of course. Okay, yeah, like that. Just get that. There you go. Got some little bitties here. Yeah, you can taste it, see what it tastes like. You go first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good. A little good? Mm -hmm. Okay. He said it's good. There you go. There you go. That, that's at an angle. At an angle. So until you get the slices going, I think you're going to have... And you can make thin slices. Don't make it so thick. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. You want to go all the way down to the skin. Go all the way to the skin. And then over. Yeah. 
and there then you go. down the skin. So it's really on a almost a 45 degree angle. Yeah, you can cut more to you can get closer to the skin. I'm trying. Want. I'm trying. Over you over here. Get this here. Oh, get this here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm getting this little bit. That's there. You go. There we go. There. Yeah. Ah. So there, you can really cut right down. Right, yeah, right down to the skin. Right down the skin there. I think they're making dents in this. There we go. Now want? we're getting there. So this is why when you buy locks at the store, you see that little oh, you can darn, cut, you, but you that cut little. That, you can cut that part off. Yeah, but you know when you get it from the store, sometimes it has yeah. that, and mm -hmm. I always wondered why. Well, now I know. And you can cut thin, like yeah, you can cut thin pieces. Cut in thinner slices now, and then go straight across. Uh -huh. Yeah, you got ah. the it. You're doing good. Yeah, yeah just unless you like it thick. Do you like it thick? No, I like the thin slices yeah. too. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. And then at some point, did you say to turn it and go the other direction? Yeah, yeah cause you, you, you're going to get too close to your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a problem. And now I'm getting these little thin slices. Uh -huh. It just takes. You got to get the feel of it first, I think. Mm -hmm. This should be good. Okay. Looks like locks. Yeah, no, you may want to put more oil on it. You can. Oh, okay. It's slippery. It's not sliding good. Okay, so put a little more oil on it to help the knife go through, uh -huh. right? Is that? Yeah, because like here it's sticking already. Okay. So I'm going to put a little more oil right there. And now you can turn it around the other way. Turn it this way. And stop going the other Let's way. Start that way. Get those little edges. And it's actually easier because now I can grip on the, on the skin. Um, instead of trying to hang on to the greasy salmon. Okay, look what we got here. We got so much salmon. It's only half here, another half. I got another half to cut up. We're gonna have the salmon party. <laughs> what? Is that knife sharp? Yeah, it's sharp. Okay. Looks like she's having trouble getting it through. Well, it's tough locks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, so right, then we're all done, pretty much. Put the skin in the bag here. Okay, I'm going to put the skin in the bag. Bring the other one over. Bring the other one. Now we'll do the other one. Would you like to have uh, some... Another toast? Would you like to have some bagel and lox? <laughs> yeah, we could have another toast. <laughs> oh, another toast. Another toast. <laughs> another, toast. <laughs> another toast to the lox. <laughs> to the lox. To the lox, yay! <laughs> hmm. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm going to oil this one. Well, if you get too much sugar, you stop putting it because you'll package it. Oh, okay. You can, you can cut it all up and then package it. Oh, what? Well, I, I lost you. A lot of oil. A lot of oil. A lot of salt. <laughs> <laughs> How did it taste? Pretty good? Yeah. Well, it tasted piece. You can take it. Oh, God. Okay. I'll try a little bitty one. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Well, hey, you're going to eat it. Wow. Sushi. It's good. Uh -huh. It's salty. Well, yeah. Too salty? Wash the other piece off more. Yeah, put some oil. Well, you got oil on it. But you can do it. That's all right. You I can still wash it? it? Yeah, pat the oil that, off. You, 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 okay. You, you, that's salty. Just wash it somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to take the oil. This is, you put too much salt in. If you don't wash it well enough, you need all the salt to oh, um, You make it less salty it. by washing it more. Okay. But so I'm just going to rinse it again. There we go. I may have a piece of paper towel. Thank you. What Somebody, somebody's on Instagram for you. Oh, that's okay. You can just let it run. Yeah, it went away. <laughs> Not more oil. Okay, more oil. There we go. Okay, so then I hold it the long way. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And down. <clears throat> oh, that was good. I got it right down the skin on that one. I don't think I'm as afraid of it as I was. <laughs> it's actually very good. And, you know, if you like traditional locks with the salt, it's, it tastes just like what you buy at the store. Right. You don't want more. <laughs> That's very good. And you can taste it to see if it's less salty. Less salty. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. So the trick is just... Rinse it more, uh -huh. and probably the longer you hold it under the running water, would that make it even less salty? If you hold it under the yes. water for a while. Okay. Ouch. That hurt. 
and turn it around and I'll do this side. It's these little bitty pieces. There we go, right down the skin. And the oil, I can feel the difference when it has the fresh oil zipping you through there. Put some more oil on it if you want. I think we're okay right now. It looks a little bit dry, but eh, why not, right? Is this your special Lux oil brush? <laughs> <sighs> okay, we got a couple more to go here, and we can say we made Lux. No, I think, thank you. That's a good job. You're See, a good teacher. You get better at it as you do it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So the skin is still intact. Yeah. Just get this one last little piece, I think. Sure. And then the next step, after I throw this the skin away, that looks okay. Is this good enough? Sure, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So I'll put the, yeah. put the skin in the garbage bag, in the plastic bag. Uh-huh. Zip that up. Voila! We have a plate and a pound, almost a pound of locks. Oh yeah, looks good. <laughs> it does, it really does look good. <laughs> I was like, where'd this come from? Okay, so then the next thing we have to do... You want to put it in here. We're going to put it in. I have a plastic container. And the way Tom and Merle do it, they layer it in here and put wax paper between the layers. Uh -huh. And right. then in the freezer. Yes. Okay. Oop. So put, we'll put one layer in. Okay. Of the salmon. Yeah. No. It's the knife fork. Okay. The, uh... Whoop. So just try to untwist them so that they are flat. You just lay. Yeah. Just lay okay. one layer in. This stuff is good. I'll be darned. <laughs> That'll last you. Mm-hmm. And this was a recipe you got off the internet. Mm-hmm. What you do with wax paper. How do you make lock stuff? How many layers? Just put. Well, no, if you got one layer, put wax paper. Oh, okay. My hands are greasy, though. Okay. Just like this over here, like that. Okay. And then. And break it. Yeah. You don't even have to do that. You can fold it in half to Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, after it's in. Yeah. yeah. It in Good point. There you go. Put another layer in. Another layer. Just keep layering it, huh? Yeah, I, could, I taste, could taste a little difference between that first half that I didn't rinse quite as thoroughly and the other one, so you if you're it. on a low-sodium diet, right? <laughs> well, Can there's you? not that much difference in No, in the there we go. And I'll put another layer. So we've got two layers so far. <laughs> and I'll put the second one here, or the third one, actually. And one more. Go. Lots of little bits. So I'll just sort of yeah. fill in the fill in the blank spaces with the little bits, so they don't get lonely. Okay, one more layer or two more. This would be two perfect. More. Two more layers. Now, I used coho salmon for this. You can use any type any of, salmon. of salmon. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it was the it was the last piece that they had of coho for the season. Hmm. So. Yeah. So I said, I'll take it. It was just a smidge under a pound, but you can see how much lox mm -hmm. you actually do get from a pound. But you know, different salmon would be thicker. Some would be mm -hmm. thicker than others. And coho is just a thin, a thin slice of fish to begin with. But if you're using, uh, and sockeye is also thin, but if you're using like king salmon or something of that type, you might get a, a thicker uh, slice. And mm -hmm. then when you, slice it like that, it would be a yeah, little yeah, more yeah. substantial. Yeah. But this is perfect. All right. So yeah. our salmon is safely tucked away okay. in the wax paper in the, in the little Ziploc container ready for the freezer. And right? We, and we can... We can have a snack. <laughs> <laughs> to, lock. to the locks. And I want to thank Tom my assistant cook and, and director, and Merle, his wife, for such wonderful camera work. Maybe. Bon appetit! <laughs> mm. Okay. Thank you.